Hey everybody, this is Cynthia. I'm going to share with you in this video how I cleaned this fence, how I prepped it, um, what kind of stain I used, how I stained it, how much it cost, and as many details as I can give you to help you in your project if you get to do that so you can do it better, faster, cheaper, whatever. Um, so if you're interested in how to clean and stain a fence, stay tuned. Today we're cleaning the fence in my house. Um, we had used this um, mixture of a pool shock with uh, all um, detergent and water. I used the Walmart brand, which is really cheap, like th a little over $3. And then the all, it's very inexpensive. And we compared it to pressure washing. So I have a pressure washer that's 3,100 PSI and we used it. I'm gonna flip the camera so that you can see um, what the difference is. All right, so yesterday we pressure washed this side right here, okay? And then this side over here and here was just used with this uh, chemical. What we noticed is because with pressure washing, you have to be super careful. We actually messed up the fence a little bit here. The finished product looks very, very similar. There's still like some fuzzies. I guess and it just it just has a very similar finish so I actually almost think this looks better and that's the chemicals that we used I also bought this heavy-duty sprayer right here and I think this was great I'll show you the box I also bought this at Walmart um, a while back um, and I think this did a fabulous job so we have a lot more fence to go we also used this particular uh, mixture for all of this part. We don't, we didn't need to clean, pressure wash this part, you know, the siding of the house. We just needed to make sure that this looked clean. We tested the pool bleach with a 30 seconds outdoor cleaner that is out in the market. You can find it pretty much anywhere, but it's at Walmart for $10. The products, both of them performed equally the same. They were just as good. As a matter of fact, my neighbor bought it for his house and was happily satisfied. Um, the only difference is that, or major difference for some people, is that it won't damage your plants. Now, pool bleach will end up damaging your plants because it has salt. So you have to really be careful with that. And that might be a deal breaker for some people. Now, the other thing that we did use was a heavy duty sprayer. And I highly recommend that. We only spent $12 also at Walmart and it was so worth it. Wow. It was dirty before, but all of this was cleaned with that in like no time. This sprayer has a nozzle that is super nice and we used it, I believe on the setting called a V fan right here. So there's a several settings that you can use. You can play around, but this one is pretty wide and then there's another one it might be H fan and there's different ones you can try but one of them goes really really far out I was able to stand here and do that I'm five feet tall and I was able to do that no problem by myself um, you just have to be wearing something protective for your eyes because um, that did bother me the pool shock will stain your clothes and also I have plants right here they were babies and they ended up getting hurt because there is overspray and if it's windy, it can travel. So you need to protect your plants and cover them very, very well. I do not recommend using the pool shock if you've got a lot of plants. You could use other products in the market that won't damage your plants. So here we go. <laughs>
let's recap from what I learned for from cleaning my fence. So first, there were three things we used. First was the pool shock with the all detergent. The all detergent has a stain lifter. That's why it's so white and so bright. I don't know if bleach would have done the same thing. If you go for that option, make sure that you don't have plants that you really care about because there will be overspray and so you have to be really careful with that. Cover them if you want to. But that is by far the cheapest option. Okay, if you use that, then remember that I used that um, sprayer was a third of the uh, pool shock, two thirds of, the, of water, and then a little cap of the all detergent. That works fine if you, that's the cheapest round. Um, but I think if I were to do it again, I would use the 30 seconds outdoor cleaner or another cleaner designed for decks and fences because of the plants. You really gotta make sure. And in hindsight, I had seen this whole um, uh, pool shock bleach type of thing on a YouTube video on the siding and it worked great, but the guy did never consider anything about plants and in this channel we love plants so don't do that if you want to save your plants now if you want to do the 30 seconds i didn't really try it i don't know if you noticed there was definitely overspray i would still kind of try to cover my plants up just to double check but the reason the pool shock was bad is because it has salt and salt is really bad so i don't know if the 30 seconds i would probably look at the instructions but it claims that it doesn't hurt your plants and so I think in order for them to make that claim, it has to be true. The pressure washer does a tried and true um, job. <laughs> Everybody knows that when you pressure wash something, it comes out clean. It was harder and more time consuming, believe it or not, than spraying and just like going over it with a hose. Plus, a lot of people don't have a pressure washer. So, you know, here's an option. If you want to clean a whole lot of fence and don't want to spend a lot of money or rent a pressure washer, you could use one of the other methods. Now we're going to talk about how we stained the fence. So I was kind of lucky where my daughter his boyfriend has a um, his his dad has a business painting so we did have a professional sprayer so when you're gonna get ready to see videos that is a professional sprayer I have seen videos that use like the Wagner sprayer we ended up having to roll back okay um, I think that is the best result when we just sprayed I felt like it was a little more blotchy than when we sprayed and went back over it it's so much faster with a professional machine, obviously, but you still have to work at it. So really, the sun was beating very hard and it made things so difficult. You have to keep in mind that you can't have it be rained on for four hours at least because it needs to dry. But the sun also kind of made us, like if I went back over the paint too late, I would actually be smearing it off because it was already drying. It, it dried so fast in our weather. I live in um, a subtropical area and it was so fast. It was so hard. So weigh the benefits, um, the pros and cons of hiring somebody out to do this. They obviously have the right equipment and it's um, very, very time consuming and hard, especially in the sun. You will have overspray. You gotta watch the overspray. That's that machine overspray. So we had to, somebody hold like um, cardboard behind the fence, trying to hold the spray from my neighbors. Um, and you will nev inevitably have some overspray. So just be careful with that. The other um, thing is it's expensive. So we ended up, we have a double fence. It means we have a fence on both sides. It's probably the worst kind of fence to stain. And so this means that we were only able to stain the interior part with 10 gallons. And then the exterior is going to take another 10 gallons. Every five gallons, it's the bare um, stain called chocolate and I got the best one they have which is the stain and block and it's supposed to last about five years on a fence I think it's a little bit less if it's a deck probably like three years read all the instructions in there but another thing I have very cheap pine and my pine is just as cheap as it gets I think and it just there's no way for you to tell what color it is I even tested it and it's still really you have to test it on the wood so 
um, go to a very inc inconspicuous place and test it out and see if if you like what you see but um, it's very hard to tell what it will look like because mine was really cheap if you have cedar or something else that's nicer it might turn nicer but my cheap pine uh, I got kind of not really what I wanted but it still looked good but if you like the color it's called chocolate by bear and um, it's like there it's hundred and seventy dollars for five gallons at Home Depot all right hope all of this is helpful the next part of it is just us staining it and hopefully this will help you and if you want to watch any of my other videos I make them to help you out in any way I can with any of your gardening um, needs